Howdy folks, welcome back to the Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. We're here talking to Natty. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe about something. I don't know. He supposedly has this is a yeah, Harlow's we conspirators. That's right. This is episode like 33, maybe. Hello, Miss Bickle. Where could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? This has turned into the Witcher real quick with the amount of husbands that have freaking died in this game, man. Please do not worry. Where are you, Archie? Am I going with Natty? When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but... We were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for Rebellion. Rebellion may be our only hope for finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. Big old cow. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. Can I put that if thing in my terrarium? <laughs> I only hope you're right. It's not a terrarium, I guess. Men like Harlow would Speaking not of terrarium, I'm excited to get into... We must find Archie quickly. I'm excited to get into Jedi Survivor when it comes out. Rebellion. Wolves. Prepare for a fight. Descend. That wolf pack. Rebellion. We should look around. There it is. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. <coughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. Harlow sounds like a bad guy. I 
hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Uh oh. oh. Harlow <laughs> caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Thestrals. I c oh, I can have Thestrals though? Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first best friend shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. Let me I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'll get this one. I'm sorry you experienced something like Come here, Thestral. Yeah. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away. And I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some Rebellion. ways. But in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... <clears throat> Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Come on. They must be on your guard. There can be no mistake. <laughs> Level twenty eight, dang. Hello. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> they have no clue, dude. That guy is kind of on to me. <laughs> this game's easy. Poor guy. Freeze. Burn. They got what they deserved. Heck yeah, they did. There you go. Cleared that out. Yeah, it's huge. I figured. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Is it complicated that much? Can't get through that way. <coughs> I got it. All right, let's petrificus totalis these fools. Oh, you don't think he saw it happen, do you? Of course he did. Why else would he have run? Oh, Harlow will decide what to do with it once he gets back. Y'all aren't too difficult. All right. That's the big baddie. Okay. 
kill this guy and immediately an ancient magic her. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, I got you, Archie. Give me two seconds. Let me collect things. You've been there long enough. It's okay. You can sit there for two more seconds. There's more to this place. Maybe a Demi guy somewhere? Oh, he is down there. Yeah, but maybe there's a Demi guy. So I gotta keep looking, you know? Shut up, Archie. I will get you in a second, brother. Help. Help. He's not going to shut up. I'm coming. If you say it one more time, I'm going to shoot you. Help. Please. Please Hush. Help. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Hello, Hamora. Heck yeah. Archie Bickle is saved. Hold on, is there a Demi Guy statue? Why am I so concerned with Demi Guys, though, you know? Like, who cares that much? It's just getting me a higher level of Aloha Mora, which gets me an unnecessary father. gear. He killed my father. I'm so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. You wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Beautiful. Please just teleport me there. <laughs> friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Raid. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh. I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickham. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank right. you for your help today. Thanks, Natty. Your quests are pretty fun. So far, at least. They've been actually really fun. Okay. What do we got? Down goes Natty's quest, so... 
In the shadow of the study. Uh, the plight of the house elf. That's 20. That's 16. Yep, 16. I just take them in order of level, usually. Quad courtyard. Should be right outside of the Slytherin common room. Rebellion. This place is dope, though. You know? I, I didn't even know I could go to a common room. Wow, you can't jump over that. Wait, can I, like, light these four really fast? I don't understand the bridge. Oh, I was just in the courtyard. I'm an idiot. Up in here. To the viaduct. To the common room. We go. Definitely chose the wrong place, but I don't even know if I have a thing over here. In the Slytherin dungeon. Have I been in here? I have, yeah. That got up. Alright, an extra 500 coins. I have so much money, I need to buy some stuff. Alright, what you got for me, Sebastian? You're here. Brilliant. I like you, Sebastian. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the Dark Arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Lumos. I could probably find that. Rebellion. Was it back this way? Two seconds. That coming. Okay, whatever. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hey, ominous. Hello, ominous. Slytherin sucks what here. Like, this what sucks. What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. So it doesn't matter Sebastian what choices I made. Because it's just going to go against it. place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. 
didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. And I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Nice. I hope I... we don't regret this. Oh wait, here Sebastian, we go. Sebastian, over here. These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now your share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you. Field guide. All right, after this quest, we will be... It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics. All right, nice. That brazier went out on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. What are we looking for? Oh, it's right here. Revelio. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually I did that. Okay. Dang, man. Hit the other one. <laughs> I hope we're ready for this. Are we doing it, doing it? I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the script, I will find this. Okay, we have written to my brother. He now knows I have access to the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path through the reach. Yeah. Noctua. The journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gorn. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Oh, shoot. Rebellion. We are not about to fight a basilisk, are we? The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Oh, gosh. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. <laughs> I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. None. Let's do it. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous. You possess a rare ability indeed. Heck yeah, dude. I'm starting to feel left out. Bringing Harry Potter in this hoe. I... Never mind. There's no clear Rebellion. way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Confrigo. The door we came from, it closed. And there's yeah. only one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. Lumos. <coughs> a brazier. When the door closed, it lit up. Can 
All right. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice solely. What am I doing? What? Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Wait, how do I do this? Oh, it's a top circle, bottom infinite. That wasn't very hard. I ain't gonna lie. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Good for you. Wait, then what was that other ones? Ah, eh, whatever. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person Shoot. in the world. Shoot. The dial seems to be getting more difficult. But we've made it this far. Don't give up. I'm trying to find out. What I'm supposed to be putting in. Lumos. Looks like maybe the bowl and then the odd one. <coughs> Bless me. I'm sick right now. The bowl. That and then the odd one. I imagine the speeds vary and symbols differ for every dial. Yeah, I, I imagine so. <coughs> Was that not that? Oh, that's probably this one. Another gate. Seems Slytherin likes to play games. Plus one in the family. Look in the mirror, Sebastian. Ooh, close one. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Lumos. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Yeah, okay, I know where Keep this going. is. Hey, right, top. Bottom, got it. Be back in a sec. Nice. All right, we kind of move it. work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. All right, that was a little confusing. That was a good puzzle, though. I spotted something ahead. It looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin ah, is not yet with us. Ah, uh, this is where I learn it, isn't it? I've lost hope I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only for way forward is with one to cast I have no one upon whom to do so. so Salazar created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I didn't find him in here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we parted on better terms. Ominous. Dang. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. 
this is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. We will hit this in the next episode. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. I'm out.